What's going on guys? So if you're new here to the channel and you're enjoying the content that we're putting out, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and share and enable notifications. That way you never miss out on any of the Naruto lore based topics that we have here on the channel, like the conversation we're getting ready to have today. So obviously if the YouTube algorithm brought you here by mistake, make sure to go to the Naruto Explain homepage, scroll down to the Naruto novel section, click on Sasuke Jin Raiden. That way you guys can join in on all these awesome discussions. So getting right into it, this is probably the most heartbreaking scene out of the entire novel right here. So Sasuke has entered into a time space in this Genjutsu where time means absolutely nothing. The space is very similar to Itachi Tsukiyomi, something that some of you guys should have already picked up on when Sasuke first had that dream where he was speaking to the boy in the mask. Well, it's the same thing that's going on here. However, because Sasuke had already felt Itachi's presence as he was going into the battle against Rowan, who was connected to the young boy Kina, who Itachi viewed as being a younger version of Sasuke. As Kina's brother Reishi is sealing away the Rowan creature, Sasuke, his spirit and his chakra has been linked to this Genjutsu world where he once again is meeting the young boy that's inside of his subconscious and they get into a really philosophical debate. And what I like about this right here is that Sasuke very slowly is putting everything together and Sasuke flat out says to the boy, you're really Itachi, aren't you? And that's so fitting that Sasuke comes to this conclusion just based off the fact that again, before all this happened, Sasuke felt Itachi's presence near him. It was one of those things where it was almost an out of body type of experience. And he's having a full blown out of body experience here when he's speaking to the young boy that he believes to be Itachi. And when they start going back and forth, Sasuke's really pressing because he's trying to get the answers that he would want to ask the real Itachi Uchiha, which is something that we did see in the fourth great ninja war when he did see Itachi started racing after him and he wanted answers to all of these questions well Sasuke's asking some of these questions to that young boy there in particular he's like hey you've already killed people for me you've been selfish because you wanted to protect me how am I any different than you by wanting to protect Kina and protect Reishi why is it that I'm the selfish one for wanting both of them to be alive that way the older brother can be alive to take care of the younger brother and as they start going round and round in this and we get the questions as to whether or not Sasuke is going to actually go forward with destroying the Leaf Village and if that's something that he should be doing because it will be a disgrace to Itachi Uchiha's honor, you start seeing more of the defensive side of the spirit that Sasuke is speaking to. And that leads us to the moment where the young boy that Sasuke sees is in a mask the mask is removed. We see Akatsuki cloaks. We see crows floating all around the area. And Itachi's appeared in front of Sasuke. And this is a moment I really feel like this is going to break a lot of people's hearts, man. So with all that scene and context finally being set, I want to just go ahead and get right into this one because I, I really feel like this is going to be something a lot of you guys enjoy. So it's here I'm going to begin reading the scene from the light novel. Then I'm going to come back to you guys with my thoughts. And it's here I'm going to begin quoting. I knew it was impossible, but I wanted to do something to save those brothers, answered the boy, lowering his eyes. You're a hypocrite, I said. However, I have no right to criticize you. You killed for me, didn't you? I received no answer. When we can protect just one thing, whatever it is, regret will haunt us throughout the entire course of our life. There's nothing left for us to do but to try and accept it. At the best of our abilities, I said. Are you telling me that you're ready to live together with your regrets? I already asked you this. What is your true nature? What will your true self do from now on? Is this your authentic being? The boy asked. I stared at the red-eyed boy. Should the entire world choose to not accept those brothers, I'd do it anyway. Reishi and Kina are just like me. Their mutual existence are the more important thing that there is. I don't know if I can define myself ready in such a way, but this is my true nature, I said. Are you going to destroy the leap at any cost? The boy asked. Yes. Are you willing to sever all bonds as you did when you left the village? The boy asked again. The bond that I wished for doesn't exist anymore, I said. What about Kina and Reishi? The boy asked. There's no place for me between the two of them. That's why I want to save them for my own. Well, I began. Itachi didn't wish for you to go against the leaf, the boy said. I know, however, if I didn't do it, I wouldn't know how to prove it to myself. I said, prove what? The boy asked. 
The fact that Itachi lives inside of me, that he keeps existing inside of my heart, I said. The boy burst out laughing. It looks like you saw the enigma of this world, the boy said. I held my breath for a moment, then I said, This world is constituted by Itachi's memories, impressed on the Mangekyo Sharingan. He probably looked into Kina's heart, I said. Tears were streaming profusely on my face. And you're Itachi. You're Itachi Uchiha, my brother, I said. The boy had disappeared. Now in front of my eyes was him, Itachi, and it seemed to me that this had always been his place. The Akatsuki cloak fluttered in the wind. Itachi, I said, even if you were to suffer every bond, I'll stay here with you forever, for eternity. His voice sounded like a feeble breath of breeze to me. He slowly raised his hand until he placed it up on the mask. I caught a glimpse of the jaw first, then the lips. His face began to appear little by little. However, the time at our disposal ran out all of a sudden. The magnetic field that constituted the world started to warp. A shattered hourglass appeared. The force disappeared, losing countless crows in the sky. I understood it that in the real world, Reishi had sealed Rowan. Itachi, I screamed. I fell headfirst onto the hole that had suddenly opened under my feet. While it collapsed in the bottomless sky, for a moment I managed to see it. Itachi's mouth was moving without emitting any sound. Even if you were to sever every bond, he began. Tears were falling like rain from the earth towards the sky. That's how I went through the black dream and came out. I'll stay here for an eternity. That impossible to hear voice echoed in my ears forever. In quote. I love that. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. The fact that Sasuke, at the last minute, when Rowan was being sealed away and the Genjutsu was being broken, Sasuke realizes that that young boy who was telling him, are you sure you want to trust Madara? Are you sure that you're going about things the right way? The boy that Sasuke had all those conversations with inside of his mind, the boy that was pushing him right here mentally, it was Itachi the whole time. And that line about no matter how many bonds that Sasuke ends up severing, Itachi's spirit was always going to stay with him. That should make you think back to what happened when Itachi was an Edo Tensei and Itachi was reaching towards Sasuke and he says that no matter what path you choose, I'll always love you forever. This is that same type of energy right here. And what I like about this is that Sasuke, for him, it's only been days since Itachi had passed away. And he's getting the opportunity to basically hear his brother's voice one more time and realize that the whole time that he was speaking to this boy, this boy was trying to guide him onto the right path. And Sasuke was too lost in his rage that he didn't realize that he was talking to his brother the entire time. I love that right there. Again, this just kind of shows you that that bond with Itachi and Sasuke is a lot stronger than we even realized that it was. And what I also like about this scene right here is that as Sasuke begins to return to his own body and leave out of that Genjutsu world, Sasuke is crying tears. I love seeing that bit right there because you just see more and more of Sasuke's emotionally fragile state being displayed to you. And again, this is all leading towards Sasuke standing at the rocks and he's thinking about all those memories with Itachi and then Sasuke, the Mangekyo Sharingan is activated and looking out at the sea. That's what we're building towards right here. We're setting that emotional stage for it. And I think that this is beautiful right here. This is a very beautiful scene. Again, I do wish that this is something that would have been adapted into the anime, but because this came out during the time period that it did, that would have been impossible unless Naruto Shippuden would have done a filler arc. But given how poorly Naruto Shippuden adapted a lot of these novels, I'm actually glad they didn't touch on this one. So what I want to know from you guys, I want to know where do you rank this moment? So you have Sasuke speaking with Itachi's ghost inside of his consciousness. You have Minato and Naruto meeting and you got Naruto meeting Kashina. Where do you rank this moment right here? Let me know down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Have an awesome day, guys.